Welcome to the next episode of Deacons with D. I am Dietmar Ostermann, and I'm your host this afternoon. Portugal is the home of the world famous port wine. And what a travel destination it is in addition to. You go to Lisbon, beautiful city. Few hundred miles north is the city of Porto. And that is naturally where the port wine comes from. And in Porto, you have the Douro River Valley, you know, flowing into the ocean. So down eastwards from Porto, you have the beautiful Douro River. Now the Douro River Valley is very steep cut into that mountain terrain. And so the vineyards where the port wines are growing are cut into these steep banks of the Douro River. What a sight! You see multiple levels plateaus and on each of those plateaus sometimes you only have two or three or five rows of grapes. Harvesting port wine obviously is a major manual process. Port wine, the real one, you can only get in Portugal only at the Douro River. Port wine in Portugal have their own grapes. The number one grape is the Turiga Nacional. But then you also find Tinta Cao, Tinta Roriz, Torigo Francesca, and Tinta Barroca. Those are the commonly most used grapes in port wine, but the number one is Torriga Nacional. Port wine is higher in alcohol content. 20% is often the norm. That's why many people refer to port wine as a dessert wine. So I would drink port wine after dinner, together with an ice cream or together with cheese and nuts. But of course in Portugal they are drinking the port wine all day long and they are drinking it during dinner. Port wine is known for being sweet, high alcohol, full body, quite a bit of tannins. There's an old relationship between Portugal and Britain. So that is why a lot of the top-notch port wine vineyards are British or have British names. You will have heard um, Fonseca, Grams, the world famous Taylor Flatgate, or Dow, as I have here, are just some examples of it. In fact, Taylor Flatgate, which is one of the wines we will try this afternoon, was established in 1692 and Grams was established in 1820. Generally speaking, there's two different types of port wine. The tawny, more brownish, yellowish, more like an orange peel tasting port wine, much longer in oak, or the ruby style single vineyard much more dark red ruby. We will be trying both styles and I will be um, trying to give you my tasting notes from them. The contestants that we have, top-notch contestants. The first one is the Tommy 20-year-old Gramps. Port wine you drink older. The good thing about the high alcohol content in port wine is once you have opened a bottle, you can see this bottle is already open. You don't have to finish it right away. You can finish it not just in a couple of weeks, but in a couple of months and you can just, you know, put the cork back on it because it has such a high alcohol content. So let's get started with the Grams 20 year old Tommy Port. As advertised, we are seeing a brownish color. Brownish, reddish, 
beautiful color, light see-through, but pretty dark in color. So you can still see through, but it's a full color wine. Nice lines in the glass, indicating high sugar and alcohol content. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Oh, so beautiful aromas of orange. Almost a little bit like a cognac would have. Uh, double distilled alcohol. Can't wait. Let's give it a whirl. Full fruit in your mouth. Explosions. Dominating flavor even in the mouth is orange peel. Beautiful. Strong. Maybe a little bit of cedar chest also in there. Um, very balanced, full body, very elegant. I like it a lot. I personally would give this port wine a 4.5 on Vivino. Common rating, 4.3. This bottle is $52, 20% alcohol. Beautiful. Okay. I'm moving on to the next. Next is the Grams Single Vineyard Port. 20 years old, it's a 2000 vintage. Now this single vineyard is just harvested in this one vineyard. That's why the bottle has a 2000 on it. Whereas here in the Grams, the Tawny, it had 20 year old wines mixed from various areas together, hand and carefully selected. That's the difference. So let's open up this bottle. Okay, here we go with a Graham 2000 single vintage port. And again, this is a ruby. You can see the color difference between the ruby, which is not see-through and dark, and the tawny, which is see-through and much more brownish. Okay, sniffy sniff. Some blackberry. Overall, multifaceted. Very different from the tawny port. Let's give it a whirl. Some good tannins a long, fruity, slightly elegant, biting finish. I like the finish a lot. In the mouth, you can feel the alcohol. You also feel the alcohol when you swallow the port wine. Very interesting. Juicy. I would give this wine a 4.1, 4.2. I like the Grams Tawny a little bit better. However, this wine was rated of all wines in 2003, number nine by Wine Spectator. It scored 98 points by Wine Spectator, and this wine is rated by Vivino V users at 4.4. I give it a little bit of a lower score. Long finish, a little bit of a bitter bite in the long finish, and uh, the multiple flavors on the palate are all over the map a little bit, but in a, in a good way. So that's why I'm scoring it a little bit less. Third contender, Taylor Flatgate, 1997. This one again, is a single vintage port wine, ruby style, 1997. Now this one is scored by Wine Spectator, 94 points. And Vivino users actually give it the highest score, 4.5. Uh, retails for $187 today. When it first came out, it was $80. That's when I bought it. The Gram, uh, on the other hand, retails at $108. Also, obviously, a lot less when it first came out. 
103, 108, 187. Color, a little bit cloudy, but dark ruby red color. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Much more even keeled. Not as much fruit in your nose as in the other two. Maybe even a little bit of cherry, has a lot of flavors. Big fat lines indicating high alcohol content. Dense. Give it a whirl! Fantastic. This one has punchy flavors. Very good. Um, fruity. Lots of plum in the mouth. Um, black purple color with um, dark berries in the mouth. Well balanced. Much better in my personal opinion than the Grams. Like it a lot. Let me give it another try. Very strong. A lot of alcohol. Long finish. Okay, here you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I rate this 4.5 as well. 4.5 is also the popular score at Vivino. But I'm also rating the Grams 4.5. Whereas the, excuse me, yeah, the Grams 20, the uh, Tawny, whereas the Grams Single Vineyard, the 2000, I only rated 4.2, 4.1. So I like these two the best. And clearly, for $53, I highly recommend, highly recommend you try the Grams 20 year old Tawny Porto. You will not regret it. And until next Sunday, stay with the channel, click like it, and click subscribe it. Bye-bye.